What's up guys? Hey lovely people. It's your favorite chef here, Chef Samantha. And today I have a delectable recipe for y'all. It's so good, you are going to have your kids licking their plates 10 times over, and perhaps you can get your date to marry you on the spot. I'm talking about jerk oxtail penne pasta. Can I get a round of applause, please? You guys are gonna love it. The recipe is super simple. Essentially, what you're gonna do is season, smoke, braise, shred, and then mix everything together. So simple, y'all moms and dads out there or anybody else in between, you're gonna try this one, I'm sure. Let's get into it. The oxtail ragu is pretty simple. It's using the traditional seasoning for this recipe. So we have our oxtail here, one to two pounds or three, depending on how much ragu you want. And then moving over, we'll have a lot of aromatics. We have our diced onion, we have some scallion, some celery. We can also add carrots to make the perfect mirepoix. We have a mixture here of oyster sauce and soy sauce, parsley, vegetable oil or avocado oil, garlic, bay leaves, pimento, and black pepper. And to finish off our sauce, we have some heavy cream, and bear to add to our braising liquid, and we have salt and thyme leaves, and sugar. Just give it a nice balance, not too much. A sweet and savory mix is always perfect for these stews. The first step is to season the oxtail by adding salt, black pepper, and the oyster and soy sauce mixture we mentioned before. We only need a few seasonings to start as it's going on the grill to be smoked and we don't want our seasoning to burn. And that's it. A nice even coating of the basic wet rub is what we're looking for. With any stew you're making, an important step is browning the meat, also known as caramelization. This will develop more flavor and give an appealing look to the final meal. For today's oxtail ragu, we're taking the browning to another level by grilling it over hot coals for about 15 minutes to give a deeper, jerked, smoky flavor. Smoke, smoke, baby. Another benefit of caramelizing the oxtails on a grill is that we get to brown a large quantity of meat in one go, as opposed to browning in batches in a pot over oil, where you often get those pesky oil splatter burns all over your hands. I know, this is definitely a novice cook's nightmare. <laughs> so this is the finished version of our smoked oxtail this is what we want it's nice and brown and caramelized on the outer surface of the oxtail and all of that smokiness is going to permeate into our sauce once we're done braising and it's going to make the perfect ragu or pasta sauce let's go while we wait, it's the perfect time to introduce to you the sponsors of this video, Lilan Limited, oh, a convenient hey. family meat and grocery distributor here in the heart of Kingston. <laughs> oh, I forgot my apron. Thank you. No problem. I have some shrimp here for you. Yes, for the next dish. Okay. This, is, looks, this looks so good. Guys, this is Brandon from Lilan Limited, the awesome company that has graced you with all their fine meats and amazingness. Yeah, so I forgot my apron and he just, you know, popped did me a up. favor, popped by and um, yeah, hooked me up. So I'm fully representing now. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> All right, later. All right, no problem, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. All right, we have our smoked oxtail and all we need to do now is add it to our pressure cooker to braise it. We're gonna do this until it's really, really tender. Almost like you're overcooking it, but that's for a good purpose. But when we're done, it's gonna fall off the bone and make the boning a lot easier. Put all your smoked and brown oxtail into your pressure cooker and start adding all of your fresh herbs and spices like onions, scallions, bay leaves, garlic, and of course, crushed pimento berries, soy sauce, beer, and water which is supposed to cover the oxtails, but only about one to two inches above the meat. Close everything up and pressure away. All right guys, it's been one hour pressuring and our oxtail is finally ready. Guys, it smells so good. So this is a sweet spot. One hour was good. The meat is just easily falling off the bone, as you can see, it just happened. So you can have this as is, with some good old rice and peas and salad for your Sunday dinner, but we're gonna take it to the next level and we're gonna take off the meat, off of every single bone, put it in a tray, 
could even squeeze out some of that cartilage right there from the center of the bone this is the good stuff in Jamaica we love to suck out all of this stuff at the dinner table just suck on that bone <laughs> get everything out and so yeah you can have the kids put on some gloves and help you with this process super easy and can you believe that like I didn't know how to do this I mean it's kind of like common sense but as they say common sense is not necessarily common so I was like oh yeah duh <laughs> pressure it till it's really soft to get the to get the meat soft and that's it look at that squeeze off all of that gooey gooey So I have the stock here that I'm going to use as a base of our sauce or the gravy. It's going to build everything together. I'm just going to add a little bit of a cornstarch slurry to just thicken everything. So the sauce goes in. It's full of gelatin. Add some herb to lighten it up. Rosemary. We're going to fold in some meat. Top it off with a little cream. Once your sauce is sticking out, you have a pasta sauce, a meat sauce. We're gonna add some of the pasta now that is already pre-cooked. Did this up last night. You can do the same. Pastas actually hold up pretty well in the fridge or freezer. And the pasta is gonna help thicken the sauce even more. So we're just gonna let everything simmer. All right, so we're gonna let it simmer. Just let the sauce just thicken slightly over the pasta. About a minute or two. And then we're just gonna serve on a plate, garnish with some more herbs. And dig in. You can serve it with a side salad, with some beer, some wine, and you're good to go. Feast your eyes on this masterpiece. The colors, textures, the aromas. Oh my gosh, it is a work of art. You can find the recipe on my blog in the video description below. Now, let's taste this culinary creation. I'm pretty sure it still is. Ooh, yeah. Nut sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> I feel like speaking in the spirit. I can taste the smoke and that rosemary. Yeah, that rosemary is popping. All right, guys, we made it to the end. Make sure you follow me for great content like this, as well as shop at Lilan Limited. I'm going to drop everything in the description below so you can find out where they're located here locally, but you can order your meat. They're the freshest, the cleanest looking, and they're really great prices, guys. Trust me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe because, you know, you just gotta help a girl out, guys. Bye!